It often starts quietly, almost silently. It's the change you feel before you even see it. It's that moment, waking up in the soft morning light, when you realize a familiar companion is no longer there to greet the day. For years, it was your body's unconscious North Star, a reliable, biological reassurance that everything, deep down, was working as it should, a sign of vitality. And then one day, the compass just stops pointing north. The silence that follows can be deafening. It's a silence filled with questions. Is this it? Is this the beginning of the end? A quiet surrender to time? It can feel isolating, like a private failure you're supposed to bear alone. What if I told you that this silence isn't a final verdict? What if I told you it's a conversation your body is trying to have with you? It's not a white flag of surrender. It is a check engine light. And today, we're not just going to figure out what that light means. We are going to learn how to turn it off. Stick with me, because this isn't about just getting an erection back. This is about getting you back. Hello, I'm Dr. Eleanor Vance. For years in my urology clinic, I've had the conversation that so many men dread, the one about change, about function, about a part of you that feels like it's fading away. Today, we're not just having that conversation, we're finishing it with a plan. We will break down exactly why erections can disappear with age, but crucially, we'll focus on the science of how to stop it. It centers on a powerful biological rule. Use it or lose it. And by the end of this video, you'll have an actionable playbook to put that rule to work for you. To fix a machine, you first need to understand how it works. And an erection is a masterpiece of biological machinery. It's not about muscle. It's about blood flow. Think of the penis as being made of two cylindrical chambers of a special sponge-like tissue. Imagine a high-tech sponge. When you're aroused, your brain sends nerve signals down to the blood vessels that feed these chambers. These signals say one thing. Open the gates. The arteries relax and widen, allowing a rush of blood, up to eight times the normal amount, to flood into that spongy tissue. As it fills, it expands and stiffens, pressing against the veins that normally drain blood away, trapping the blood inside. That's an erection. It's a hydraulic system, pure and simple. So when the system starts to falter with age, it's almost always a problem in one of four areas. First, the plumbing, our vascular health. This is the number one reason by far. The health of your erections is a direct reflection of the health of your blood vessels. The arteries in the penis are tiny, making them the canary in the coal mine for your cardiovascular health. What happens over a lifetime of eating processed foods, not getting enough exercise, smoking, or having high cholesterol? Plaque builds up, a condition called atherosclerosis. This narrows all arteries, including those in your penis. When those pipes are narrowed, you simply can't get enough blood flow to pressurize the system. Your erectile dysfunction could be the very first sign you're at risk for a heart attack or stroke. It's not just about sex, it's about survival. Second, the wiring, our nerves. The signal to open the gates travels from the brain along a delicate nerve network. If this wiring gets damaged, the message never arrives. What damages these nerves? Diabetes is a chief culprit, as uncontrolled high blood sugar is toxic to nerves. Also, surgery or radiation for prostate cancer, while often life-saving, can inadvertently injure these crucial nerves. Spinal cord injuries or diseases like multiple sclerosis can also interrupt the signal path. Third, the hormones, the master signal. Testosterone. While low testosterone isn't usually the primary cause of ED, it governs your libido. It fuels your desire. If testosterone levels are low, you might not feel interested. The want to isn't there, so the brain never bothers to send the initial signal. Finally, and this is so important, the control center. Our mind. The most powerful sex organ you have. Your feelings play a massive role. Stress, anxiety, depression, and especially performance anxiety can shut the system down. If you're worried about whether you'll perform, that anxiety releases adrenaline, which actively constricts blood vessels, the direct biological opposite of what's needed for an erection. 
it becomes a vicious cycle that feeds on itself. A bad experience breeds fear, and that fear creates the next bad experience. So the fading erection isn't a single event. It's the result of decades of life affecting your plumbing, your wiring, and your mindset. Okay, that was the why, now the how. And this starts with the single most important concept in penile rehabilitation, use it or lose it. Let me explain this on a cellular level. The spongy tissue in your penis is made of smooth muscle. Like any muscle, it needs exercise. Its exercise is a full erection. When you have a full erection, you flood those tissues with fresh oxygen-rich blood. This oxygen nourishes the smooth muscle, keeping it flexible, elastic, and healthy. When you stop having regular erections, a sinister process called fibrosis begins. The lack of oxygen causes that healthy, elastic, smooth muscle tissue to slowly die and be replaced by collagen, which is basically non-stretchy scar tissue. Imagine a healthy kitchen sponge turning into a brick. It can't absorb water anymore. It becomes rigid and non-functional. That is what happens on a microscopic level. It loses its capacity to fill with blood. This isn't a folktale. It's a physiological fact. Those nighttime or morning erections you used to have, they were your body's automatic maintenance program, running three, five times a night, exercising and oxygenating the tissue. When they stop, the maintenance stops. So using it means ensuring the penis gets regular blood engorged erections to fight off fibrosis and keep the tissue healthy. All right, this is the playbook. A four-pronged attack. Prong one, lifestyle is the best medicine. You cannot medicate your way out of a bad lifestyle. Move your body. At least 30-45 minutes of moderate cardio most days of the week. This is a power wash for your arteries. Eat for your arteries. Adopt a heart-healthy diet like the Mediterranean diet and actively cut out the ultra-processed foods, the sugary drinks, and the fried items that directly contribute to arterial plaque. Build your diet on what's good for your heart and your erections will thank you. Prioritize sleep. 7-8 hours a night. This is when your body repairs itself and runs that critical nighttime maintenance program. Manage your mind. This isn't soft advice. It is hard science. Your brain is the command center, so find healthy ways to cope with stress, whether it's meditation, hobbies, or therapy. And finally, quit smoking and limit alcohol. Smoking is a vascular disaster. Prong 2. Purposeful use. Remember fibrosis? We have to actively fight it. This means achieving a full erection regularly, ideally several times a week. Think of it this way. I am prescribing you exercise. Regular erections. The source doesn't matter to your biology. With a partner or solo, the goal is the physiological effect. Each successful erection helps reset the brain, delivering a dose of confidence and breaking the feedback loop of anxiety. It is true physical therapy for your penis. Prong 3. The Medical Toolkit If you need a bridge while lifestyle changes take effect, modern medicine offers fantastic rehabilitation tools. Oral medications, the PDA5 inhibitors like Viagra or Cialis, don't create arousal, but they make the plumbing more efficient, helping the blood vessels respond to your natural stimulation. Then there are vacuum erection devices. A VED is a cylinder that uses a vacuum to physically draw blood into the penis creating an erection. It is a mechanical solution to a hydraulic problem and highly effective. Many men find it empowering because it puts the control directly back in their hands. Finally, penile injections. The idea can be intimidating, but it is often the single most effective therapy. It involves using a tiny, hair-thin needle to inject medication directly into the penis. The needle is incredibly fine, similar to what a person with diabetes uses for insulin. Most men report just a small pinch. It bypasses the nerve signals and causes a strong, reliable erection. It's often called the gold standard for predictable results for a reason. Prong four, check the engine. Go see your doctor, get a full physical, check your blood pressure, your cholesterol, and your blood sugar. Get your testosterone levels checked with a morning blood test. You can't fix a problem you don't fully understand. Have that open, honest conversation. The message I want you to leave with today is one of profound hope and agency. The fading erection is not a sign of fading masculinity. It is not a personal failure. It is a biological signal, a check engine light asking you to look under the hood at your overall health. 
Age is a factor, yes, but it is not a sentence. You have a tremendous amount of control by focusing on your vascular health, managing your mind, and strategically using the principle of use it or lose it, you can preserve and even reclaim this vital function. This journey is about more than just sex. It's about confidence. It's about vitality. It's about feeling whole and connected to your body. It's about refusing to let the silence win. Your body is talking to you. It's time to listen. It's time to answer the call. Thank you so much for investing this time in your health today. If this video was helpful, please give it a like so more men can find it. Subscribe for more no-nonsense guides to men's health, and please leave your questions in the comments below. I do my best to read through them. Take care of yourselves, and take care of each other.